Hello everyone, welcome back to another Doctor Who unboxing video. In today's Doctor unboxing video, if you can't tell by the display of the TARDISes, it's that time of year again when we're graced with another collection set. And this time it is of Season 2 in this very chunky box. And I have to say, from the pictures I've seen of this box set, it looks like it's going to be a chunky set. I think this is, this is the biggest set they've done so far in the collection range. Um, so it's very exciting. This is our first taste of what a 1960s set is going to look like in the collection range. So it's all very exciting and this is the perfect time of year to be watching the first Doctor. I think there's something quite magical about the, watching the first Doctor in sort of the winter months because it really just feel very quite magical and especially by a Christmas tree. Uh, it's just, oh, magical uh, is the best way to describe it. So this box has come at a perfect time. So the way this video is going to work is I'm going to take a look at the presentation, obviously unbox it, uh, take a look at the presentation of this box set, then take a look at the new special features, what feature on this set. Okay, so season two is free from its cardboard prison. The TARDIS is back to normal. Um, the Zabi didn't try and gain entry uh, to it, but here we go. This is it, season two. Now, normally the collection sets are eight discs, and it's amazing how much the one disc makes a difference. This is nine discs, and you can see that it's absolutely a chunky beast. It's an absolute unit of a set, really. Um, yeah, you definitely know you've got a box set holding this. So, in terms of cover art, we've got a lovely picture of the first Doctor with the sort of first Doctor vortex there, and a picture of some of the characters and monsters he faces within the season. Um, so we've got Richard the Lionheart there, we've got the meddling monk, the Monoptera, a Dalek from Dalek Invasion of Earth, the Zabi, love a Zabi. We have Coquillion, and I think that's a Morax from the Space Museum. I don't know, I, I can't say I'm too familiar with the Space Museum um, characters to be honest. Um, so yeah, very nice cover art, I really do like it, it's very nice and striking. The side there, it, yeah, it's going to look great seeing that lined up with um, the other collection set. It's going to be weird having um, the first Doctor there, because I've got so used to having sort of the third Doctor at the front, um, because yeah, it's just one of those things, we've had the third Doctor at the front of a collection range since 2019, um, so yeah, it's nice to have Hartnell, don't get me wrong, it's great. Um, so we've got the back there, so the stories that are included are the Planet of Giants, the Dark Invasion of Earth, the Rescue, the Romans, the Web Planet, the Crusade, which is going to be interesting to see the collection team tackle a missing story. Uh, the Space Museum, The Chase, and The Time Meddler, my personal favourite story uh, from the season. So we've got nine stories, a little bit of artwork from the booklet, and some of the special features there. So this is very much continued your Doctor Who archive with the Ultimate Collector's set. So let's take off the cellophane and dive into the actual set. Okay, so the cellophane is off and I've taken the J card off so we can take a closer look at the clean artwork. Yeah, it looks absolutely stunning. So if we take a look at the back, which I've not looked at, Oh wow, that is absolutely incredible. So you've got a sort of a chase inspired background with the Dalek time ship chasing the TARDIS uh, through space. I think this might possibly be my favorite uh, backdrop for one of these sets. I think that that is absolutely stunning. I love that, I love the 60s TARDIS. Um, yeah, that is absolutely beautiful. I love that, I'm a big fan, big fan of that. So if we open up the set, uh, we have a Dalek Invasion of Earth inspired sort of booklet holder, which is very cool with the Dalek rising from the Thames, a very iconic moment in classic The Doctor Who. So this is going to be interesting to see how they do it. So if we take a look at the discs um, and take a look at the stories as well, Planet Giants, it's, a, it's an interesting season opener. I think that this was one of the original ideas to open Doctor Who. Um, it's an okay story. Um, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> Not much to say on it. Dalek Invasion of Earth, um, yeah, it's going to be quite cool to see the discs are actually in full because I've not really seen them. Um, Dark Invasion of Earth, it's an iconic story, one of the great Hartnell stories, isn't it? It's a tremendous one and one of the big moments in Doctor Who history, really. Oh gosh, what's going on here with the discs? Disc 3, The Rescue, I think that that is a real nice fun two-parter and the showdown between the first Doctor and Coquillion. Um, really brilliant. I really do love the rescue. I think that it's a real nice, fun, easy two-parter. If you want to watch some black and white Doctor Who and you haven't got the time for a full story, then the rescue is a nice little fun one to watch. And of course, we have the Romans there, which is Doctor Who does a carry-on um, without a carry-on actor. That comes in the Time Meddler. 
Um, I really like the, the Romans. You can see Hartnell's having a lot of fun and quite violent. Um, maybe he's been practicing Venetian Aikido. Uh, but yeah, very fun story. Nice fun little story that is to watch. And then we have the Web Planet. Oh dear. <laughs> I love Zarbi. But my goodness, and I love the ambition. I think that's the thing about 60s Doctor Who, it's when Doctor Who is at its most ambitious. And yeah, you can see the web planets trying, the heart's in the right place. I just don't think the execution is there, to be honest, um, really. And then we have the Crusade. Um, it's, it's okay, I can't remember much about the Crusade. It's not a Hartnell story I've watched that much. Well, I say watch, it's missing. Uh, but yeah, it's not what I've watched or experienced that much, so I'm interested to see the new reconstruction and the remastering of the episodes that were discovered. Um, but yeah, very exciting for that. The Space Museum. I think this might be a bit of a guilty pleasure of mine. I think that this is a pretty decent story overall. I think episode one um, is superb. It's like the sense right, it's episode one, and I think that's the thing with most first Doctor stories in a way, partly, that you have a real strong opening episode, and then sort of after that it's kind of like, oh, it's kind of dropped off a bit, but I still really like it. The Chase. Oh, I love The Chase. If we can alter the disc. <laughs> there we go, you can have a closer look at that. Daleks versus the Mechanoid. The Chase is the Daleks in a comedy and I'm here for it. I really like The Chase. I think it's one of my favourite first Doctor stories. I just love the sheer scale of the story. You know, that we've had the Daleks on their home planet. We've had the Daleks come to Earth. Now let's have a sort of a space opera adventure with them. And I think that it's absolutely brilliant. And then our last story, The Time Meddler. Or a space helmet for a cow. I think that this is probably my favourite first Doctor story that exists. I mean, Dalek's Master Plan is brilliant, but I love the Time Meddler. I think that it's a tremendous story and I can't wait to see what they've done for it, um, because I believe that they've added some new stuff to it, which is cool. And if we move the disc, we have William Hartnell's face in the vortex, which we didn't get on screen, but that is a really nice little feature. Moving on to the booklet. So if we open it up, we have a real nice little sort of tribute to the season there with the characters that feature in there, the Zabi, we've got Ian and Barbara, sort of David and Susan, Stephen and Vicky and the first Doctor there, and an Iridian there. Yeah, it's a nice little play on sort of the space-time visualizer or sort of a Dalek eye stalk, isn't it? With it sort of being a sort of circular thing, that's really uh, very cool. Um, yeah, give you a closer look at that. It does look very sort of Dalek eye stalk-esque. And again, we have the clean artwork for the booklet there. And if we remove that, we have more exciting Doc 2 products. Um, but if we take a look at the TARDIS console there, we've got the space time visualizer there. Um, do we have a chair with a panda on it? No, we don't. But yeah, that's a really nice Deceiver 60s TARDIS there included. Um, so we've got a nice little promo thing. So, what other exciting things do we have to buy? So, we've got the Edge of Reality, some Season 2 audiobooks, so it's very much tailored to this box set. The Demon Quest vinyl, the Target books, um, what else do we have? The Escape Room, The World of Wonder, Doctor Who Magazine, and the first Doctor 60th Anniversary merch. And then the little promo for the, the booklet now, so we can see there the artwork and it's clean. We've got little Planet Dido there, which is all very cool. Nice little Easter egg, so I guess the more you look at it, um, the more things you will spot. So we've got the opener for season two about a future secured uh, and this is very much giving us our breakdown on the season itself really so uh which is all very cool and we have the planet of giants and sort of the disc breakdown um and yeah it looks like the behind the sofas aren't featured on all of these stories i guess because there's nine stories and i guess they record it all in one day so it'd be quite a chunky thing um, so again, I love these booklets because it has sort of the reception, the after image, lovely bit of artwork <laughs> for Dark Invasion of Earth and I guess a little bit about the merchandise and the development of the actual story. Um, yeah, quite a bit about Dark Invasion of Earth because it is a big chunky story. The rescue there, nice bit of artwork there. Love Coquillion, very great and I love the showdown between the first Doctor 
and the Coquillian. We've got Sandy there, one of the most tragic deaths in Doctor Who. Uh, the Romans, it's all very cool. Nice bit of artwork for the Romans, actually. Nice little full page there for it. Production, reception, the web planet. Oh, yes, the web planet. The Zarbian HD, how exciting is that? Artwork for the web planet, web planet the Crusade. Good old Ching Marsh there. Artwork for the Crusade there. Space Museum. The chase, does the chase have any cool artwork? I hope it does. Yes, it does. There we go. There's the chase. All very cool. And what else do we have there? Uh, a bit about Peter Purvis and the Time Meddler there. And the artwork for the Time Meddler. And some nice little promos and um, publicities of our TARDIS crew within this season. Yes, I have to say that season two, probably my favourite Hartnell season. Um, yeah, it's a great season. So. Let's take a look at the new special features that feature on this set. Okay, on to the disc breakdown for this set. So in terms of new special features, of course, we have some special features that have been moved from other DVDs, but of course we do have the original DVD extras included on the set. So in terms of new uh, special features for Planet of Giants, we have conversation with William Russell, with Matthew Sweet, which is going to be very exciting to have uh, William Russell feature on one of the Matthew Sweet interviews. We have revised and updated production subtitles and photo gallery in HD and of course PDF material. Um, so not really that much new stuff what features on Planet of Giants but in terms of disc 2 the new special features for this are Behind the Sofa which has Caroline Ford, Maureen O'Brien, Peter Purvis, Janet Fielding, Wendy Padbury, Sarah Sutton, Sophie Aldred and Bonnie Langford. Um, which appear on all of the behind the sofas that feature within this season so that's going to be quite cool to see a nice mix of people featuring on these we have optional enhanced dual mono audio on episode two to six trails and continuity revised and updated production subtitles and photo gallery hd and of course pdf material disc free uh, we have behind the sofa for the rescue Maureen O'Brien in conversation, the storyteller, the nice little trailer we got for the announcement for this set. Four in terms of new special features, we have Behind the Sofa for the Romans, and of course we have revised and updated production subtitles and photo gallery in HD. And then at disc five for the Web Planet, my goodness, we have a Behind the Sofa for the Web Planet VT clock for episode one, and of course we have revised and updated production subtitles for all of these, and of course product, uh, PDF material. Disc 6, in terms of new special features, we have reconstructions for the Crusades uh, with optional narration and descriptive subtitles. Looking for David, which I think is one of the big key documentaries on this set where we're looking for David Whittaker. I think this is the third one in the sort of Looking For series. We had Peter R. Newman in the sense right and then Looking For Lenny Main. And now we have the David Whittaker one, which will be quite interesting because David Whittaker is one of the sort of unsung heroes of Doctor Who. Audio commentary on episode one, uh, discussing the recovery with the fans who recovered it. Tele snap photo gallery for the episodes two and three and Panopticon archive with an interview featuring Jacqueline Hill, Caroline Ford, Adrian Hill and Michael Craze recorded in 1985. So that's gonna be a very cool thing to sit down and watch. Uh, in terms of the Space Museum, we have the Doctor the Collectors. So that's quite fitting that that's on um, <clears throat> the Space Museum because that's all about the Doctor Who merchandise in the 1960s which I am very excited about because if you don't know I like Doctor Who merch if you can't tell by the figure so that's going to be very cool to sit down and watch so this is part one of that so I guess um, there'll be a 1970s set and a 1980s set uh, covering the merch from the time which is going to be very cool and then at disc 8 for the chase in terms of new special features we have behind the sofa we have the Wayne Schutzer show uh, the Dalek sketch excerpt um, which will be quite cool to see and at disc 9 in terms of new special features we have behind the sofa the time meddler trails and continuity flight through eternity and overview of season 2 so I guess that's a one big look at season 2 in terms of production and behind the scenes that'll be uh, a very nice sort of special feature to sit down and watch and of course we have the usual uh, photo gallery and subtitles and photo gallery in HD so yeah not much in terms of new special features um, but I guess that this is a big chunky set to restore um, so I guess the special features in terms of new content are a little bit light compared to other sets but still it's great to finally add a William Hartnell set to the collection lineup so speaking of that let's do a collection lineup shall we 
The collection lineup. Yes, whatever the set, whatever set is next or season is next, I think I'm going to need a, a different shelf to do this or uh, look at the collection range so far because we can just about squeeze all of these sets on and you can really see how chunky season two is. It's amazing how different that, how much of, di of a difference that one disc does make. Um, but yeah, it's looking absolutely stunning to see how it's all forming. And yeah, I really love it. I think this is always one of the satisfying things, just putting them all lined up together and going, wow, that does look quite special. And yeah, it's quite magical having the first Doctor there front and center and joining the collection range. So we've got our first 1960s set to, in the collection range. So that is the collection so far. There we have it. That is my unboxing of a Dog Tuba collection it's season two. Yes, it's finally been the time where we have a 1960 set joining the collection range. Like I said, the special features seem to be a bit light compared to the others, but I guess the amount of work what's been done to restore these episodes, I've not watched a single disc yet, so I can't comment on how the restoration is, but I've heard only but good things. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to sitting down and marathoning some first Doctor goodness underneath the Christmas tree, because you know, the first Doctor is definitely one of those magical doctors and this is like i say the perfect time of year to be watching some william hartnell so yes um, i'm really looking forward to diving into the collectors um sort of special feature talking about the 1960s doctor Who merchandise and i think it'd be very interesting to watch the big overview of the season to see all the behind the scenes stuff about it and of course the convention footage with sort of jacqueline hill that'd be very cool to see her sort of experiencing sort of the convention life and sort of doxy fandom um because we don't really we haven't really tapped into that really so yeah that's been this video this has been that unboxing hope you've enjoyed it if you're new around here and you like this unboxing then please do leave a like and subscribe there's plenty of doxy related content on the channel there's a doxy regeneration marathon going on right now um through all of december covering all the doxy regenerations from the 10th planet to power of the doctor so thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you next time for more Doctor-related shenanigans. Bye-bye.